Well, new restrictions from Governor Steve Sisolak could also be coming here. And tonight, business owners, well, they are bracing for another possible shutdown. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen is live to explain what one owner is asking the governor to consider before making a decision. Jeremy. Yeah, Todd and Tricia, uncertainty is certainly on the minds of business owners across the valley. And basically, they want Governor Sisolak to continue walking that tightrope he mentioned before balancing health and the economy. Stylists are busy with their clients at Capelli Salon. Owner Carletta O'Neill happy to see them working. This is our profession. It's our livelihood, and we take it really seriously. She's worried Governor Sisolak may shut down businesses like hers again to curb the spread of COVID-19. She says her salon has taken many measures to ensure safety. We're going to wash an area two or three times a day just to make double sure that it's super, super clean. Jeremy Aguero with Applied Analysis says the economic impact of a shutdown would depend on how long it is. Is that going to result in some job losses? Probably. I mean, we've continued to see um, some ups and downs and things like initial unemployment insurance claims. We've seen uh, some slowing in terms of our recovery, and I think that is exactly what should have been expected. Robert Lang, a UNLV public policy professor, believes any new restrictions would be different from the blanket shutdown in the spring. He says more knowledge about COVID-19 plays a part. This is a shorter duration, more targeted, more purposeful shutdown. O'Neill hopes she doesn't see another shutdown and hopes Governor Sisolak can strike a balance between business and health. We want to support our leaders, but at the same time, we would hope the leaders in place would support local businesses because they are so instrumental to so many families. Now, it remains to be seen when Governor Sisolak may announce these new restrictions. However, based on a call with state health officials yesterday, He's considering it. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.